Assalamu alaikum dear students and good morning to all of you few instructions i want to give you first of all whenever you get a lecture you have to submit your assignment or homework the very next day after the lecture jab aap ek lecture lete hain to uske next day you have to submit it aapko kaise hi karna hai ki aap homework kare assignment banaye और उसको आप पिक्चर लेके उसकी व्हाट्सएप कर दें अपने जो सब्जेक्ट टीचर है जिसका भी लेक्चर था वो उसको आप क्या करेंगे सबमिट करेंगे देन कम्स द सेकंड ऑप्शन जो टाइम है आप रात को एक बजे भी मैसेज कर रहे होते हैं काम करके आप रात के दस बजे भी बारह बजे भी इस तरह से नहीं होता वी हैव गिवन यू द वर्किंग आवर्स फॉर टीचर जो कि 9 ए एम टू ट्वेल्व नोन है नाइन टू ट्वेल्व आपने नेक्स्ट डे हमेशा लेक्चर लेने की नेक्स्ट डे यू हैव टू पोस्ट इट यू हैव टू पोस्ट और सेंड योर होमवर्क टू द कंसर्न टीचर जो भी आपका सब्जेक्ट टीचर है उसको आपने वो होमवर्क जो है भेज देना है उसके व्हाट्सएप पे और सारा दिन नहीं भेजते रहना नाइन टू ट्वेल्व काइंडली ये चीज़ नोट कर लें सो कमिंग बैक टू द लेक्चर This is our third lecture today. So we were discussing about noun. Noun, अगर आपको याद हो हमने noun discuss किया था and its kinds. Kinds discuss चली थी अब noun दो अगर आप can you open page number सिक्सटी सिक्स अगर पेज नंबर सिक्सटी सिक्स खोलें आप तो लिखा हुआ है काउंटेबल एंड अनकाउंटेबल्स नाउन नाउन्स कैन बी क्लासीफाइड into countables and uncountables so nouns can be classified into countable and un uncountable nouns ye ek aur tarah se aap isko kinds mein divide karte ho countable aur uncountable if we talk about countable nouns the nouns which can be counted are known as countable countable ka jab baat ki jati hai you the वर्ड डैट हिट्स टू योर माइंड स्ट्राइक्स योर माइंड तो वो काउंटेबल है एंड काउंटेबल मीन्स टू काउंट समथिंग विच कैन बी काउंटेड जिसको काउंट किया जा सकता है फॉर एग्जाम्पल पेन जैक हॉर्स प्रॉपर नाउन्स कॉमन नाउन्स एंड कलेक्टिव नाउन्स आर यूली प्लेस्ड इन दिस कैटेगरी आपने पढ़ा था प्रॉपर नाउन के होते हैं कॉमन नाउन के होते हैं कलेक्टिव नाउन के होते हैं these are lies in the boundaries of countable nouns matlab ke jitne bhi proper nouns hain jitne bhi collective nouns hain aur jitne bhi common noun nouns hain wo countable nouns hote hain jinko aap count kar sakte ho agar hum iski examples padhe she has one pen but i have got three pens yahan pe pen jo hai aapko pata hai noun hai और ये एक काउंटेबल नाउन है जिसको काउंट किया जा सकता है एंड इट इज अ कॉमन नाउन अ हर्ड ऑफ कैटल इज ग्रेजिंग ऑन द हिल साइड कैटल यहाँ पे जो है आपका कलेक्टिव नाउन है हर्ड ऑफ कैटल ठीक है जी हर्ड कलेक्टिव नाउन है और ये आपके किसके अंदर लाई कर रहे हैं काउंटेबल नाउन के अंदर इफ वी टॉक अबाउट अनकाउंटेबल नाउन्स अनकाउंटेबल से ही आपको इफ यू रीड द वर्ड अनकाउंटेबल तो विच मीन्स यू कैन नॉट द थिंग डैट कैन नॉट बी काउंटेड जो आपको काउंट नहीं कर सकते आप लोग उसको हम क्या कहते हैं अनकाउंटेबल सो इफ वी रीड इट द नाउन्स विच कैन नॉट बी काउंटेड आर नोन एज अनकाउंटेबल नाउन्स मिटीरियल नाउन्स and abstract nouns are usually placed in this category for example water truth honesty wool cotton fog snow if we talk about uncountable nouns iske andar jo kind of nouns lie karti hain wo hamari ek to abstract noun hai ek hai material noun which cannot be counted jisko hum count nahi kar sakte और उसने आगे एग्जांपल्स भी दी हैं इफ वी टॉक अबाउट एग्जांपल इज ऑयल लाइटर देन वाटर 
यहाँ पे वाटर जो है आपका उन, उसने नाउ नाउन शो की है और ये जो है अनकाउंटेबल है और ये मटेरियल नाउन है कॉटन इज़ यूज टू मेक शर्ट्स ये कॉटन इज़ आल्सो मटेरियल नाउन एंड इट इज़ अनकाउंटेबल ऑनेस्टी इज़ द बेस्ट पॉलिसी इट इज़ एन एब्सट्रक्ट नाउन और ये एक अनकाउंटेबल नाउन इफ वी टॉक अबाउट प्रैक्टिस सो हेयर कम्स एक्सरसाइज पिक आउट एट लीस्ट टेन नाउंस प्रैक्टिस नंबर वन फ्रॉम द फॉलोइंग पैराग्राफ मैंशन द काइंड ऑफ ईच एंड आल्सो राइट वेदर इट इज काउंटेबल और एन अनकाउंटेबल नाउन सो आई एम गोइंग टू हाईलाइट फ्यू वर्ड्स द राइटर हैज आस्ट दैट्स टू राइट एट लीस्ट एंड लाइन टेन वर्ड्स If you see here the next page you have to write the word then comes the kind of noun then countable or uncountable you have to mention the kind of noun you have to mention whether it is a countable noun or an uncountable noun so starting from the paragraph colonel tour colonel is a noun tour is also a name of a person was not feeling well since he had a fax fax is also a noun from the headquarters is also noun stating the absconding of a band band is also a noun band of robbers due to lack of security arrangements around the prison prison is also a noun tour was a man known for his patriotic spirit and honesty honesty is also a noun so he was the man he was only man who felt terrible man is also a noun terrible upset at the news news is also a noun his eyes eyebrows climbed up and his forehead became wrinkled and he pondered again and again over this issue eyebrows forehead issue these all are nouns he had to drink a jug of water or uh, a jug of wafer to overcome the feelings of dryness in his mouth jug and wafer or water i think so the water is the right word here but they have written wafer mouth these all are the nouns so i have underlined all the nouns and they are displayed on your screens kindly they these are i think so more than 10 words you have to write the word then kind of a noun then whether it is countable or uncountable this is your assignment if we talk about practice number 2 bracket the countable nouns and underline the uncountable nouns in the following sentence all right so you have to underline the uncountable nouns and you have to bracket the countable nouns so i am going to highlight the uncountable nouns and bracket the countable nouns if we talk about the first sentence tears began to flow float in her eyes tears is an uncountable noun so i am going to highlight it it is showing on your screens and i am going to uh, bracket the countable noun which is eyes he smacked a blow on the downy pillow blow means to hit something to strike something so blow here is a noun and uh it is a noun and it is an uncountable noun so i am going to highlight it and i am going to bracket the pillow a cool breeze began to blow as i stepped out into the garden 
सो हेयर गार्डन इज अ काउंटेबल नाउन एंड ब्रीज इज एन अनकाउंटेबल नाउन मिल्क इज असेंशियल फॉर हेल्थ मिल्क इज अकाउंटेबल नाउन एंड हेल्थ इज एन अनकाउंटेबल नाउन देर वॉज स्टिल इनफ लाइट इन द रूम लाइट इज एन अनकाउंटेबल नाउन एंड रूम इज अकाउंटेबल नाउन बिकॉज ऑफ इल हेल्थ द ओल्ड मैन कुड नॉट वॉक फॉर अ लॉन्ग डिस्टेंस बिकॉज ऑफ इल हेल्थ द ओल्ड मैन कुड नॉट वॉक फॉर अ लॉन्ग डिस्टेंस ओल्ड मैन इज अकाउंटेबल नाउन एंड डिस्टेंस इज एन अनकाउंटेबल नाउन इट इज डिस्प्लेड ऑन यूर स्क्रीन death keeps no calendar what do you think what should be the uncountable noun which one should be the uncountable noun death you are right calendar it is a countable noun now ask yourself when i read this sentence you have to nominate which is the noun which is a com uh, collect uh, countable noun or which is an uncountable noun so a mysterious grimness flitted across his face when he heard her story which was full of sorrow and deprivation so what do you think face you are right face here is a countable noun sorrow yes you are right here sorrow is the uncountable now the train had steamed off before before i boarded it so it is a tricky one the train train is a noun so it is a countable noun because it is a material noun no it is not a material noun it is a common noun sorry so this sentence has only one noun steamed off is also a verb and boarded it is also a verb boarded is also a word and steamed is also a word verb so no other option for the noun here so it has only one noun which is a countable noun and which is train oil floats on over water here oil floats over water water is a material noun and it is uncountable and water is also a material noun and it is also uncountable so i have highlighted both of them they both are uncountable nouns so if we talk about practice number 3 so coming back to practice number 3 here comes fill each of the following blanks with an appropriate collective noun we have to use collective noun you have studied collective nouns here a bunch of collective nouns here there are a huge list of examples over here and i have told you to study each and every example from here so we have to use common uh, collective nouns here a dash of mosquitoes was hovering over the murky water you can use a word scourge here a scourge mean a bunch of a collectiveness of mosquitoes of hundreds of mosquitoes when collectively called they are called scourge of mosquitoes so here collective noun is scourge it is displayed on your screen my friend presented me a bucket a bouquet of flowers on my birthday 
so here bouquet we use bouquet you know when you go to someone's party or marriage ceremony or birthday you uh, or to find someone's health to know about someone's health health when you go to them you take a bouquet of flowers and give them a bouquet of flowers for the sympathy or for the best wishes you take it along with you so here bouquet we will use an appropriate word for the collection of flowers which is a bouquet which is a collective noun for a lot of flowers so bouquet of flowers on my birthday a dash of files was heaped on the table so i will leave 3 and 4 and you have to find it out that what should be the uh, what should be the appropriate word to fit in here and what should be the appropriate collective noun to post here so let's come to the next page the hunter entered the forest along with a dash of hounds so the collective noun collective uh, collectively the hounds are known as the pack collective noun for hounds is pack of hounds so we will use pack here the collective noun is pack here so millions of stars shine in a galaxy the millions of stars when combined together they form a galaxy and i have told you and they have given the example in the uh, topic of collective noun so we will use galaxy here a dash of robbers broke into my neighbor's house last night gang a gang of robbers a dash of sailors a dash of sailors a crew of sailors a dash of soldiers marched forward a squad of soldiers you can use a brigade a company so i like to choose a squad of soldiers march forward a dash of ripe grapes fell down itself from the branch of the vine a bunch of ripe grapes so students it is and for today and that's all for today so your assignment is to write the words which we have underlined here in practice 1 on the page number 67 then you have to write its kind so be very careful when you are writing about the kind of a noun you have to go through you have to learn the uh all the definitions of nouns and its kinds noun and its kinds and you have to be sure before writing the kind of a noun you have to be very sure that what kind of noun it is then then you have to be sure that it is a collective noun or it is an uh it is a countable noun or it is an uncountable noun you have to be sure about that so it's for today thank you so much for watching my lecture number 3 see you in the next video allah hafiz